Jorge, thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the importance of recycling to Blue Triton brands. Recycling is a huge priority for us at Blue Triton Brands, and we're deeply committed to really drive meaningful change. So this is a big priority for us, and we're really proud of our new campaign that we started this year called Made for a Better Tomorrow, which is really an invitation to all of our consumers to scan the QR code in our bottles and then commit to recycle that bottle. And we make a pledge, the one for one. So for each bottle that you recycle and help us increase recyclability, we will donate a bottle of water for people that are in need in our communities. So let's talk about overall, all of the different brands under Blue Triton. So we are really proud of our uh, spring water brands. We have beautiful brands that are six of them across the different regions of the US. And they're really kind of like household names and synonymous with water. So Poland Springs in the Northeast, Ozarka in Texas, Zephyr Hills in Florida, Ice Mountain, Deer Park, Arrowhead out west. These brands that have really been around for some of them over a hundred years and really are pure water that comes from the environment in through the springs. And then we have two other national brands uh, that are filtered water, uh, Pure Life and Splash. So we have a really cool and beloved portfolio of brands that we're very proud of. All right, let's talk a little bit more about some of the other environmental issues that are currently being faced right now in the bottled water business. So we have a few areas that are really important to us. We talked about recyclability. That's a big, a big focus area. How we source our water. We're very proud that we are so responsible in how we source our water from our springs and our good citizens in the communities in which we serve. We have received support from AWS, Association for Water Stewardship, across most of our sites, and we're committed to continue to build on that. So that's a big priority area. We're also focusing on optimizing our transportation. We have a lot of trucks that drive our bottles around the country and our water to our consumers. We want to continue to optimize our routes to make it as efficient as possible, uh, to use the least amount of energy possible to deliver the products to our consumers, and to switch our trucks to alternative uh, energy from fossil fuels and, and from fuel uh, energy. Another area that is really important to us is to continue moving our factories, our water plants, to increasing alternative sources of energy. We have a good amount of products that are already uh, plants that are really sourcing alternative energy, but we have some really interesting projects uh, that are more solar-based, that are more wind-based, and uh, increasingly they're becoming feasible from a financial standpoint. So we'll continue to drive change. And then lastly is the communities in which we serve. We're very serious about being good uh, neighbors, good members of the community, and we go above and beyond um, you know, the impact we have in the community with uh, the jobs that we created and the businesses opportunities that we created, but also we're very focused on cause, causes that are important to those consumers in the industry. Uh, we have a number of great stories around the country where the folks that work in our, in our plants, in our distribution centers, really do wonderful work, and we want to continue to encourage them to really contribute to the communities in a very meaningful way. So those are the five areas that we're focused on and it's it's a very big priority for us. Absolutely, so is there anything else that you would like for everyone to know about Blue Triton Brands today, Jorge? No, that we are a new company. We are a company that is very committed to sustainability, to the environment. We're very proud of our brands. We're very focused on making a difference in the world and we are very excited about the future as, as we go forward. One more thing I wanted to address as it relates to recyclability. Beyond getting more consumers to recycle, and again, we'll invite them to do that through this campaign that we just launched. We also think there's work to do in two other areas. One is in the recycle centers, we want to improve the yield 
of how much of the bottles that are brought to, to the recycle center, how many of those bottles actually get recycled, per se. There's a, a big mixture of different types of bottles and different types of materials. And sometimes it's hard for you to pick that apart. I think we need to partner with those companies, with those manufacturing sites to really try to make the most out of what consumers bring uh, from the, to, into the recycling out in the form of recycled plastic. That's one area that we think we can make a big difference. And the other one is innovation. You know, really innovate into different kinds of materials beyond plastic that are going to improve our overall sustainability profile. And so we have a number of you know, irons in the fire with a number of different you know, startup companies and other companies that are exploring new materials. And we're very committed to kind of learning what of those ideas has the biggest potential impact. Well, we certainly appreciate your time today. I know you're obviously very busy, so much going on with Blue Triton Brands. So thank you, Jorge Mosquita, CEO of Blue Triton Brands. Thank you for your time today. Thank you, Abby. My pleasure.